What's up everyone? My name is Andrew McMahon. I'm the Tourism and Special Events Director for the City of Harlem. Right now we're at the Laurel and Hardy Museum here in downtown Harlem, also known as the Harlem Museum and Welcome Center. Um, Laurel and Hardy were an amazing comedic team in the early uh, 1900s, beginning in the 1920s, and just killing it for, for decades on from there. Um, really establishing slapstick comedy for a lot of folks. So uh, Oliver Hardy, the larger of the two, was born here in Harlem and we celebrate his legacy and the legacy of the boys here at the museum as well as highlight some awesome history here in this city. I'm going to walk you around it a little bit. So here we see this is what we uh, titled the Genesis of Harlem, where it all started. You see an old picture from uh, downtown Harlem. Harlem started as a as a little town, really not even was Harlem, but it was sawdust, and it was right down the street, a couple miles down the street, um, and it was known to be the type of uh, type of town that had a brothel and a bar on every corner. And uh, the founder, uh, Noonan Hicks, uh, worked for the railroad, which came through both towns. Um, he didn't want to raise his family in that atmosphere, so he uh, he packed up his family, moved down a stop, um, partnered with a doctor named Andrew Sanders, uh, and they started developing what they called the Sylvan City. And at some point uh, before incorporation, uh, a gentleman from uh, Harlem, New York, came down, and at the time they said this these are very similar cities, and how they're being uh, obviously a lot has changed there but uh, it kind of took on the moniker of the name Harlem. So here at Harlem, uh, like I said before, we're really important with the county uh, early on, and we did a lot of things first. So here, this is our kind of bragging exhibit here where we see that we had a lot of things. So the first library, um, we were the entertainment hub for the county for a long time. We had three theaters at one point in time in little old downtown Harlem. Um, we were almost a vacation spot for folks from Augusta, Georgia, who wanted to get away from uh, what they believed was um, the mosquitoes in the Savannah River causing um, causing disease over there, so they would vacation, come on the railroad, get over here. A lot of really cool things, and then Harlem is just such a such an area that the consistency has been um, people in town supporting people in town. Uh, local businesses, we do a huge exhibit of local businesses, the railroad. Um, dealerships that were in town, grocery stores that were in town. We have some amazing local businesses right now, restaurants. Uh, we have the only uh, bed and breakfast here in, uh, in, the, in the county, so uh, that's awesome as well. So a lot of cool stuff. We celebrate our folks. We also celebrate schools um, and a lot of things that, that have happened here in Harlem that we absolutely love. So here at the museum, we mainly celebrate Laurel and Hardy. We want to celebrate their legacy because Oliver, like I mentioned earlier, was born here in 1895. So you'll see a lot of cool stuff on the walls that celebrate their history, their career. We like to tell certain stories about what they did and um, their relationship with one another and with Hollywood. Um, you're only going to see about 20% of the collection if you ever visit us. We rotate it constantly to make sure that new things are out and to make sure that new stories are told, but mostly to make sure these artifacts are in good shape. We're 100 years out now from, uh, from when they started their career, so a lot of these things we want to make sure really stand the test of time. But the boys meant so much to the comedy world and really transitioning movies from, from um from silent films into what they call talkies, uh, which is what we know and love today. Movies, TV shows, what you're watching right now. You're hearing my voice, you're seeing me move. That's what they did to transition from, from silence to what they call talkies, to regular films now. So a lot of really cool stuff um, here at the museum, and we love celebrating Laurel and Hardy. Um, we have an Oliver Hardy Festival that we do each and every year draws thousands and thousands of folks and we line the streets with vendors, celebrate creativity, have, a, have um, bands and look-alikes come into town, we do a parade, we do special programming here in the museum, it's just, it's fabulous. So I encourage you to join, join us for that if you ever get the chance, it's always the first Saturday in October.